Hopefully that will Alright, Pisces, it's your turn for your reading for the month of May. Hope you all are doing well. Uh, do keep in mind this is a general reading. It may not apply to all of you out there, but those who feel like it's their story and what's going on in their life. Do keep in mind also... Um, Venus is in Gemini. It's going to go retrograde soon. I know Pluto's retrograde right now in Capricorn. Um, also, to um, in May, I believe the 5th or the 9th, North Node goes in Gemini and South Node is in Sagittarius. So that could affect you if you have those in your chart or um, just in general it could affect you. So let's see. I'm shuffling the cards real quick. To get a clear message for the month of May for you guys. What's going on with Pisces for the month of May? Let's give it a minute. Shuffle a few more times. Alright. Two more shuffles. Four. Some of you, you may have um, exited a job or had some type of loss with a job or a situation happen at a job situation where maybe you weren't making that much. Because I know the whole thing with the quarantine thing, some people lost their business or lost some money. Uh, maybe you lost some money or people you know lost some money. Alright, a few more shuffles. like Pisces have gone through a lot recently uh, maybe in their partnerships maybe something happened unexpectedly maybe you weren't expecting uh, maybe some arguments maybe some disagreements but I feel like you're doing much better now that's what I recently heard with a friend of mine um, let's see let's see and they're with a Pisces so one thing I know about water signs is we can get really emotional, especially if we care about people. And it's like sometimes people communicate different than others. Um, so I'm laying your cards out. Then I'm going to show them to you. Just so they're here. Alright. Um, I'm getting also too there's some type of turn of event of some kind maybe with a past person maybe a situation you're dealing with currently like a turn of event maybe good success in career or something of that nature that maybe you picked up something new in advance all right I'm gonna do this I do a little different overall energy we have the page or the I was gonna say the page of one Maybe you are dealing with a fire sign um, or a water sign. We have the moon card. So Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. It looks like with the moon card, I was, a lot of people look at the cards as, you know, secrets, unknown. It could be talking about the unknown of things. Maybe there's a secret or a mystery of the unknown in life right now for you guys. When it comes to love and relationships, when it comes to your directions, because we have the chariot card here. So it also is a card of Cancer. Uh, let's see, we have Capricorn. Aries, but I'm not just going to go based on just the card itself, energy I'm picking up. So, I really feel like there's a movement, there's forward movement in the month of May, but also, too, we have this devil energy in the Emperor. I always feel like it's codependency in maybe a boss figure, maybe someone over you, maybe you feel like someone has control over you, maybe a father figure of some kind, or some type of... Uh, codependent situation with an air or a fire sign I was gonna say air sign fire sign or maybe there's something within this dynamic in May 
where you're going to have to pick your direction or go with something uh, maybe that's not so s successful or you're in a direction or a transition to get out of this codependent situation maybe in a boss situation or a situation at work or home where something has control over you and feeling picking up because I feel like with the devil energy, it could be Capricorn you're dealing with or Aries. Maybe one of these people have control over you. Maybe in, in a situation, you're move, trying to move in a direction, but maybe you got this type of toxic person or toxic situation where, uh, I don't know exactly, where you're going to have to uh, take some time off take some reflection because I do see this Virgo card so it could be a Virgo you're dealing with also too um, maybe it's about not looking so much at this control situation I do feel like it's career possibly or a person of that nature maybe that you feel like has control over you and I feel like it could be a Virgo maybe like a boss because that's funny because I have a boss who's a Virgo so it could possibly be a boss figure. Maybe you feel like someone has control. Um, or they're moving things along. They're speaking their truth about something. Maybe with the Sagittarius. Um, but also too, I feel like there's... There could be some block communication. There could be... Maybe it was this Virgo that spoke negative. Or spoke too soon to this Sagittarius and something with a Sagittarian Virgo situation where uh, someone became harsh and cold or it's this Virgo that needs to talk to the Sagittarius to move things along with the communication so also too we have this eight with the eight of cups so that's walking away from something that's Maybe you had a lot of passion for, maybe a lot of drive for, um, that was successful. You're trying to go with something that's more to your level, but I do feel like there's something that you need to walk away, um, in order to get the, the creative life or the creative flow that you want, Pisces. Um, but I do feel like there's just this something about this type of Virgo energy that I feel like is causing this control issue. Maybe there's a Virgo in your life that feels this way or you feel this way about this Virgo or Aries or Capricorn. Um, there's just too much control here. Maybe there's too many uh, fish in the cooks. Maybe there's too many cooks in the frying pan I don't know uh, but I feel like you have a lot of direction you're going towards and a lot of things you're trying to move through and maneuver but there's also like with this devil energy I said could be a boss figure or a father figure who has control over someone or something needs to be cleared up maybe with this Virgo to uh to get through this toxic codependent situation so you can move forward and communicate maybe with the Sagittarius the way that you want so maybe maybe you or another person needs to go within to communicate clearly because I do feel like there's some type of communication block maybe with the Sagittarius so maybe you have a Virgo moon you either have a Capricorn, let's see, you have a, either a Capricorn moon, a watery moon, Pisces, uh, Scorpio, or Cancer, Capricorn moon, or Aries moon, or Virgo moon, possibly. But I do feel like it's, it's more about to get out of this, maybe there's too many people trying, uh, invest too much control like something needs a balance but I do feel like in order to communicate clear to someone if it is a Sagittarius or if it's of that nature or something to bring healing and balance to the situation I feel like you need to go in so I feel like that's why the hermit cards there you need to go within 
Because I feel like you want to speak maybe to the Sagittarius or you want to speak to someone about moving forward. But you need to get your communication clear. Like, you need to come out with passion. Um, like I said, I do feel like some type of block of communication with this person. But I feel like you need to balance maybe the ebb and flow of how you're feeling with this toxic energy. Like I said, there's a lot of toxic. So... You're moving in a direction, like I said, I'm just stuck on these cards for some reason. You're moving in a direction, but you got to get something out of your way so you can go inside and really, really speak your truth so you can heal. Maybe that's why this is coming out. There's a lot of toxic energy, maybe about a cancer. Maybe a cancer came forward about something spoke something and it caused a lot of pain for you and so maybe that's why these three cards up here because it made you stop and think about something but realize that you have a lot of passion and you want to speak your truth to this person i feel like maybe it's to this cancer in some way or to the sagittarius but in order to do that you need to speak clear and maybe you haven't been speaking clearly. Maybe you've been hermiting too much. Or you're not really opening up your truth. Maybe that's what it is. You need to speak your truth. And balance it out. But also too. There's something that needs to be walking away from. And I always look at this card. And it could be a negative card. It's not about walking away. Necessarily. I think it's about letting go of something and maybe something is controlling you maybe something internally you're battling when it comes to your direction or speaking clearly because of this past person it could be a cancer it could be something that needs to heal still because um, you know cancer sometimes has to do with the past so it could be a past ex it could be someone of that nature but I feel like it's something that you need to go through or you've been going through where in order to get to this place where you can speak clearly of your passions, you need to heal still and balance it out. But also to walk away from something that's not, maybe it's about what's blocking you, this devil energy, this control. Maybe you want to be the one in control, but also too, you're having to go within about it. So maybe you're not fully at that point where you can fully speak your truth maybe to Sagittarius or just to balance the situation like maybe this is your initiative response is just to walk away from the situation where you were close to walking away because something got out of balance here um, so it could be like what I said it could be this cancer came to truth spoke something that maybe got you t in this toxic spiral that maybe you didn't see about yourself in, f in some way and that's when you went it within and now you can speak clearly I feel like and heal and move on from something that's not really healthy helping you or helpful for you so you can grow and you have a lot of determination to make things happen in your life and to manifest the life that you want. I just think it's getting over these blockages from the past. So that could be an issue or someone getting over their ex or situation. Alright, so I'm going to shuffle these cards real quick to see what comes up for your relationship and love life. Whether you're a single Pisces... Or what? Alright, let's see what's going on for Pisces, love, life, and relationships. I was thinking also too, it could be if you're dealing with a Virgo... Maybe this Virgo's going through codependency issue or just maybe the dark night of the soul that he needs to be set free from. Because also too with the devil card, if it is reversed, it's about, you know, being set free, but they're still in a toxic, toxic situation. 
So, I don't know. Shuffle the cards real quick a few times. It also could be, too, that another... Maybe you're seeing this happen with people who has the same placement as you. Maybe you're younger than them in some way. They're seeing you go through something with someone else, maybe with the Sagittarius of that nature. Because I was thinking that, you know, could be another Pisces that you're dealing with that going through that or something of that nature. I'm feeling too, like a younger person, maybe a teen, I don't know. All right, try to get these cards. Ah, I don't know why it does that. Sometimes it makes uh, that weird, uh, the sideways on the phone. All right. All right, I was drinking. All right, what's going on in your love and relationship? The high priestess. So I do feel like Pisces, you're at your top of your game. You're in your energy. A lot of things are coming to you. Maybe this Queen of Cups, maybe someone with uh, Cancer placements, Pisces placements, or uh, uh, Scorpio. So I feel like you're in a good place right now, especially in May. Um, things are coming to you or things coming together with a water sign. Or coming together when it comes to your emotions. Um, maybe feeling in control. Um, I do feel like with the uh, seven, ten of swords, maybe someone caused a lot of pain for you. That things were unclear or things were not seen correctly. Maybe a Virgo. See, that's where the Virgo and the Empress or the Emperor card. So you could be dealing with an Aries or a Virgo. So something came in that brought a lot of pain for you. So either someone you're in a relationship is a water sign, fire sign, or a nerf sign. And I feel like they brought in a lot of pain and deceptive type of trickery energy. But also, too, it balanced out the situation. So, either you or this other person had to go within and to clear up what's been damaged or broken in the situation. But I do feel like both of you are trying to come together despite the conflicts. Maybe a Virgo, I'm feeling. Alright. So, I do feel like there's a lot of, a lot of things you guys want to create. A lot of strength through this relationship so both of you I feel like whoever you're inquiring about in this relationship love reading or reading someone in fire energy but I do feel like that you guys been through a lot and I feel like there's been a lot of deceptive type energies that's put you in a lot of this painful resistance of the mind But you get victory. Maybe this is victory within yourself. That you found yourself through this process of the pain. Like you had to come to terms with yourself. Um, maybe you're not holding any guards up against people in a situation. I do feel like Pisces can be content with themselves. So maybe you're a single Pisces. And you know, you're not really focusing on relationships. So you're focusing on yourself. Or if you are in a relationship, maybe you're starting to focus on yourself more. And cut the BS. <laughs> or you see through the BS of people. Um, so yeah, you're moving forward from something that's got you toxic. And you're, like I said, you have a lot of determine, determination. Maybe an earth sign too. So there is a balance coming in for you guys. I feel like for the month of May, you guys can move forward on something. Um, you see things a lot differently, I feel like. So 
a new cycle is beginning you're creating something planting something maybe some of you are pregnant bringing in a lot of happiness so you're really happy with the new changes maybe with another Pisces or water sign or something that you have a lot of love for you're going for it what makes you happy whether it's being single or what and then you have the five of wands so you're done with the BS you're done with the conflicts of people you're done with the lies and deceptions if there's been any and you want full happiness with this person so I do feel like there's a lot of love for this person if you're in a relationship or if you're not you know it's a lot of love that's coming in for you a lot of uh, pentacles a lot of things coming toward you in the month of May anyways I wish you guys the best bye bye